today I'm gonna to be taking off the rear bumper and replacing it with a worn bumper and worn tire carrier. So first of all, we're gonna be putting bigger tires on here. Uh, the factory tires are just under 33 inches. I think you can maybe put 35s on here. You add the Mopar hinge reinforcement kit when you order your Wrangler. Um, but we're going bigger. We're gonna go with 37 inch tires and maybe down the road 40 inch tires. So I wanted something that is strong enough to support those and, and uh, carry the weight. So I ordered Warren's rear bumper, which is full width and should line up nice with the fenders and their tire carrier that bolts to the bumper. Now, the reason I went with the Warren one, well, first of all, I've never run a bumper mounted tire carrier, so I wanted to see what that experience is like. I always like to gain new knowledge and try to understand products better, but it also pretty much just bolts on it. I don't have to do any drilling in the body. I don't have to drill out the factory hinges. If I wanna take this off, it's pretty much reversible 100% and I haven't made any long lasting changes to the Jeep. So we're gonna throw it on, see how it goes. We just have to remove the factory tire. We have to remove the plate behind it and the carrier behind it, pull the bumper off, and then we're gonna bolt up all the hardware along the bottom. So getting the factory bumper off isn't too difficult. There's a pair of bolts right here. And under the bumper, there is a pair of nuts that need to come off, uh, two studs right here. And then there is a pair of bolts underneath. And then obviously there'd be two more on the other side and two more of these on the other side. So you can get to these by removing, uh, there's three bolts that take off the plastic frame or mud guard or whatever you want to call it. And once you take those off, you can get access to these two. I think I have to take this bracket off, but there's no way I could get access to these huge bolts um, until I took the bumper off. All right, we'll get this cool plate that replaces the factory tire carrier. So we're gonna reuse the stock hardware and bolt this up to the tailgate. Next, I had to install these two large brackets onto the frame rails. The one on the passenger side fully supports the carrier swing out arm, and the two of them together will allow for the bumper to be securely mounted to the frame, as we'll be using it for recoveries with its shackle mount points. All right, so we thoroughly greased these sleeves and the end of the tire carrier, and we're gonna pop it into this here, hopefully, that are falling off. Like that. There we go. That sleeve will push back up in, I think. Once we put these giant things on. Huge nut and a big washer and grease all over my hands. This just happens to be the same nut size as a uh, wheel hub nut on the front of the JKs, which I'm assuming is the same as the JLs. So I uh, was able to get this socket on, which helps immensely doing this up. So we're just installing the tailgate linkage, which basically links the tire carrier to the tailgate and has a bunch of adjustments on it so we can get this the, exactly the right distance away from the tailgate. I think we'll probably get all this bolted up and then make those adjustments after. Just tighten that up and then we can adjust the distance using this here on the linkage to push this further or closer depending on what we need to adjust uh, once we get everything on and bolted up. So we also have these wear blocks, which will bolt onto the tailgate carrier side. And that's gonna let this push into this as this closes and rest up against this rather than metal. Next, we're gonna install the third brake light uh, extension piece, which just slots between here. And we have six bolts that are gonna hold this in place, so. So 
So we do reuse the camera and brake light. So I just separated the tire carrier two pieces and I separated the stud plate because we're gonna reuse that as well. And I have the camera out and essentially that's gonna mount on, that's gonna mount on here like that. We have another plate that goes on the back and we're gonna reuse the factory stud plate uh, with the five by five bolt pattern. We're just gonna mount the factory brake light to the top of this bracket. Thread the wire through here, through the back of this, what they call the stinger. And we've got the factory studs on the back. We're gonna put a couple bolts through here to hold this all in place. That's gonna screw into the back. There's a couple nuts. We've got the camera, we've got our wiring for our brake light. Now we'll just pop this onto the back. So we're going to wire this top light back up through here for the brake light. All right, I'm gonna throw the spare tire on so that I can adjust the depth of this so that we've got, depending on how wide your tire is, it'll make a difference. So we wanna adjust this and then lock it in place. Let's go and make a line on the back. Pull the spare off. Now we can see where to put the bolts in the back to lock this in place. So there we go, the Warren Elite Series rear mounted tire carrier and bumper all done. It was a bit of a tedious install, lots of uh, hard to access bolts. Um, definitely the bolts on the rear bumper were a little bit challenging to get through the brackets that you mount onto the frame rail, but uh, with a little time and patience, I was able to get them all connected. Overall, I think the tire carrier looks uh, really nice and it does get the spare tire up a little higher. There is plenty of room up top for a larger tire and to still see your brake light. I like the OEM look to it and it wraps around the sides nicely and it flushes up with the fenders. It retains the factory uh, rear backup camera, which uh, fortunately you can't reuse the cover and uh, the back of the backup camera is pink. So I just kind of colored that over with a Sharpie um, while I think of something else to do with that. And you do have a spot for your license plate and it uses the factory license plate light as well as uh, the brake light up top. There's no wiring needed. Everything just reroutes and clips back into the factory harnesses, which was nice. Just a couple things to note about the install. Make sure you get the carrier arm straight and where you want it before you bolt the bumper on because the little adjustment bolts that are right next to the arm of the carrier and the bumper are pretty much impossible to get to after you have the bumper on. The other thing is that with a factory wheel that doesn't have much backspacing, meaning the hub is not closer and the wheel is not further out, I have the carrier adjusted as far as it goes and the wire to the camera just barely reaches and actually the grommet that goes into the body won't quite go in all the way, but I think when I put my aftermarket wheels on with some more backspacing, the hub will get closer and I won't need to have the receiver part sticking out quite as much. This tire carrier is uh, rated up to a 40 inch tire, so there's plenty of space underneath here, and I don't even have the brake light mounted to the highest location, so you could put a very large tire on the back here. It's very, uh, very easy to open this, just like that, everything inside is, nothing's uh, changed. Everything just got clipped back into the factory harness, but uh, closing, pretty straightforward, just like factory. But uh, it's pretty stable once everything gets closed up. You notice a little bit of shake when it's open. Once it is closed all the way, if you have adjusted, there is pretty much no wobble and 
there you go. So this does clear with the factory hitch. It does clear with the factory wiring receptacle here and no issues with anything from the Eco Diesel. It's nice that it comes powder coated. Not having to drill or cut anything was nice for a change. Let me know now in the comments below what you think. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every week. Lots of mods to come, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video.